Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gamer here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you is Acheron's Eidolons worth it, and I'm going to be doing it in a different fashion. To be honest, I have no idea. I want to test it out as well. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go flow through all the different Eidolons here. As you can see, we have E6 ready to unlock as well, and we'll start off first with a kind of a free-to-play E0S0 kind of format. This is not my main account, as you can see, the characters here are not super, super well invested like I normally am, but um, this is a, a, an account that a friend lent to me. The, that I think is pretty good. Check him out on YouTube as well. Me here, Gacha. I think you'll really like the content. Uh, and if any of you who are wondering how to top up cheaper to get your characters to higher eidolons, we talked about it on the channel already. I saved myself about 30%. Uh, I highly encourage most of you to check it out as well if you're looking to get an eidolon or top up at least. Uh, but anyways, let's check it out. Let's first start off with E0. And uh, this is not going to be our usual format of being straight to the point because to be really honest, I have no idea what is the outcome of this video at all. Uh, since we are stuck at this first stage, let's take, take a look at like the first the first flaws here. Let me just go... Oh, oh, we have one previous cycle here. Okay, this is not, not even cleared. So let me just go ahead and put Acheron in. And maybe for the sake of the completion sake, let's put in like Pella here. And... Let me put in Weld and one Sustain. So we'll go with this one, a very simple template comp, and we'll go for it throughout. And I'm just going to put uh, Luca, for example, in the second half. I'm just going to be unger bungering this stage with uh, just an E1, and we'll see how that goes. So we'll start off exactly the same. So this is an E0, S1, Acheron, uh, and we'll go all the way up, of course, to E6. So let's see what it does so far. So Pella out, defense breaking. Okay, finally she gets a turn. One. It's all about 100k for the first strike. All together, about 293. Nine, two nine that's that's quite a good number, I think. Pretty decent number. This is a, don't forget, this is an S0, S1E0 Akron. So that's pretty impressive numbers for a relatively like free to play account. I probably only topped up like three or four Welking Moons on this account, four monthly passes, uh, but hardly put any characters, so we got it at E6. So very, very fantastic. Let's see. AoE smack, 38k, not too bad. But let's see how much higher it can go. And uh, do I do I want to, yeah, maybe I'll just go and like see all the turns one shot, so we can see a little bit more. What do I, what am I going to do for E1 and S and E2? Because E1 is just crit rate, right? So it's not going to be like super useful. Seems to be quite consistent at uh, 280k. So I'm going to go ahead and like retreat so at least we get like some consistency fighting the same enemies non-stop. So E2, let's just see. Let me go back into the character list. E1, I think E1 is like almost the same thing, right? When dealing damage to debuff enemies, this is just crit rate. So this increases consistency, but it doesn't give you like anything fancy uh, to be excited about. I could drag the video on by just trying this, but honestly, guys, I don't want to waste your time. Let's just go directly to E2, and then the exciting one, of course, will be E4, as well as E6, if any of you are wondering what exactly that does. So let's check out E2. So I'm going to activate this. This is, of course, when your Nihility, you just need one less Nihility character to proc her max buff. So now I can take out, like, for example, well, and put in another damage buffer. When a unit starts, I just, like, pop off faster. So now let's see exactly what's the difference between both of them. And for the sake of this demo, I am going to, for example, let me go in here. Um, in, in case any of you who are wondering, like, E2 versus uh, E1 and what's the difference. Who should we play? Who should we play? This account doesn't, of course, have like many characters. Should we just play Bronya, like for simplicity's sake? Let's see how that works out. Uh, of course, there are better options, but this is not my main account, so unfortunately, I don't have every single character built. We have to just make do, I guess. Probably really stronger than my main account, I think. Can I just trade my E6 Zealer for my E6 Akron Switch accounts? Hopefully, Hoyoverse implements a trading system. But uh, in my dreams, I guess. Just, let's see, let's see. It's going to be a lot less because the monsters are all already dead. But this feels super fast. Like, this feels so much faster. The monsters are practically all dead already. And guys, don't judge the damage or anything. This is not on my main account, so... The gear is a bit lacking, I know. So she boosts her up. Out straight away. Holy, that, is it a, well, that's a freaking, that's a freaking times two damage. 
because I added in Bronya instead. That's ridiculous. That is crazy. The amount of damage that you can do just with uh, E2 because you can swap out your character. So it's not only a, a damage increase, but it's also really, you take out a, a semi-useless Nihility character, you swap in a, a Harmony character, you get that massive, massive pump up. That is ridiculously strong. I think that is like super, super strong. Double damage just because I put in Bronya. Of course, if I if I really like took out well and put in Bronya, for example, you just what you just lose is like the the amazing multiplier here. Where's the Nihility stacks? That is that Nihility stack somewhere, right? Like one of the abilities is like that Nihility. What does it say? What does it say? The buff? Oh yeah, there, right here. Well, that's that's probably. I'm not reading this right. But um, because I'm too excited to test more. So whatever, I think it's like 160% or something like that. Let's go ahead and up E3 and, and we're not going to test E3 and E5. We're just going to go straight for the 2, 4 and 6 for the juicy one. So we don't make this video like super long. And if you guys appreciate the video so far and if it's inspiring you to get a good character up higher, I think Akron is definitely a very nice investment. Just looking at the straight damage alone, E2 definitely makes her a lot more versatile if some of you just want my thoughts. But at, probably by now you guys are going to like stop the video. But let's check out just for fun. We're going to see what E4 and E6 looks like for any of you who want to pull in the long term to see what it looks like and we're going to do more videos like this on the channel as well i'm going to compare with my own account in my account she's like e0 s0 so that's like a more free to play representation uh, a youtuber's account is more free to play than this account here definitely more relatable at least for this patch uh, when enemy targets enter combat, inflict them with ultimate damage vulnerability and increasing the amount of out damage they take. I don't think this is going to be very impressive. I think it's just going to be so, so. It's just like it, unless everything also adds. So let's, let's see, let's see. Let's see what it does. Because this technically like buffs your whole team also, right? Everyone can do more out damage. Let's see what it looks like. How much can she hit? I think she hit like 120 or something like that. Oh my, that's a 20, like almost a 20% bump for two Eidolons. For 600 bucks or wherever you're from, depending on how much. 600 bucks for 20% more damage. I'll keep the 600 bucks, to be honest. Okay, let's see this one. Can we go for like a one shot? A one shot would be pretty nice. My goodness. My goodness, that is disgusting, guys. Oh, and now I know why why that matters. So if you didn't realize, when the enemies entered the battlefield and they got that debuff, so when enemies come in, she becomes like an erudition character that gets stronger because she applies like this debuff on the enemies, this damage vulnerability, which counts to her stacks as well to help her out even faster. So the more enemies there are on, in like pure fiction, she just swarms and just eradicates all of them, ridiculously overpowered. But okay, let's go for the fun one. Let's look at this one here, which is Apocalypse the Emancipator. This one is the one that everyone is probably eventually hoping to go for if you are Akron main. And let's unlock this real quick. Super nice. Let me just do a quick screenshot real quick. Amazing. I like how they decided to like change it, change the color scheme up to like uh, this, this reddish one. So what does it do? Everything becomes out damage. Everything can reduce enemy weaknesses. Let's just see what I'm build, what my build is right now. I'm actually using a Inert South Soto, so I get this 15% bump for everything, and a Diver of Dead Waters, of course, so I get a little bit more damage. Light Cone, I have her at S1, Signature, at, um, and that's the stats. I would say these are relatively free-to-play stats, don't you think? Like 65, 154, quite relatively free-to-play. This is, of course, not my main account, so I don't really grind too much gear here, but um, let's just go in here, and let's fight. Okay, this is the one that everyone's excited. E6 Akron. How would that look like? Of course, this is just the like low level flaws. So some of you might be saying, test it on high level mobs. If you guys are interested in any of that, leave me a comment below. What do you want to test? I'll prepare it for you. And maybe I might do a showcase in a bit or something like that. So this one was 144 previously. Sheesh, 179. That's another 30k. So for another 600 bucks, you get another 20k damage bump. $1,200 or 40% damage bump. I think 40% hmm, damage bump seems quite interesting, right? So like you see, they, when they are summoned, they all get the stack so quickly and then now she's like full stacks. Like the guys is on the side are going to be absolutely massacred. What's damage is, what damage? 700k. 
That went from like 590k to 700k. Okay, that is that is really crazy. Okay, guys, and this is a E6 S1 Akron test in a team, very, very simple team. This is, of course, not my main account. This is not my E6 uh, Akron on my main. It's one of the other accounts that is lent to me by me here, Gacha. So massive shout out as well. Let's see some damage numbers. Can we one shot this guy? Sheesh. 70% damage, ridiculous, in just one hit. Crazy, crazy damage. Relatively like free to play gear, I'm running like a 69, 153 or something like that crit ratio. Uh, S1 of, of course gives like 18% more crit, so the consistency is slightly higher. Um, so you get to maximize the amount of crit damage that she gets. Let's see, let's see. One more strike. No slaughter, let's see the total damage on the top right there. Freaking... Oh my goodness, 771. This is no food bath, no nothing, just in the open world in one of the weekly bosses fight. That is crazy. Imagine if like some simulated universe boss and whatnot. She's gonna be hitting like at least 2 million in a, f a full like 5 enemy fight with buffs and stuff. And also like not whale supports if I were using like some of my main account supports. I just wanna like trade my E6 Zilla here right now. If only I could, right? Massive damage. Okay, let's see that again. My goodness. My goodness. 900k. Without food buff. And without like even... This is not even like a showcase enemy. The boss is like probably has some lightning resistance. Since the, the boss is like not weak to lightning at all. Just to showcase like how strong Akron is. She doesn't even care about weaknesses. 1 million damage. Freaking insane. Just evaporated this match. This is the weekly boss at the hardest difficulty, so hopefully it's easier for most of us to relate. Unfortunately, I can't do Memory of Chaos very high because uh, I don't have it unlocked on this account. It was previously very underbuilt. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are planning to pull for Acheron in terms of Island 2 and stuff like that, what do you think? I think it's amazing, a super solid character at E6, but it's then about $1,000. Is it worth it or not? I took about 500-ish pulls or so. You can check it out on the channel. I might upload it as like a short or something just to show you how mad frenzy I went in the pools. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Check out our other videos on the channel. Leave a like, subscribe. If you like something chill like that, just showing off some damage. And see you guys in the next video.